a primary gravida who is healthy 37 year old women has been receiving prenatal care and had a sonogram at 25 weeks of gestation and that shows the amniotic fluid index of 1.8 centimeters do you like to call 1.8 centimeters amniotic uh, index oligo or a polyhydramnios doctor please punch your answer 1.8 centimeter such a small pocket what do you like to call oligo or poly very good it is called oligohydramnios so the fall they said is the renal agenesis of the fetus which is the cause of the oligohydramniosis what you need to basically remember 24 year old there is a vulvar erythema you have done a wet mount preparation and what is wet mount preparation is showing you here who is going to give me the answer doctor what are you able to see in this wet mount preparation please punch your answer yes what is the speciality very good shaas correctly says clue cells there is a reason what is your diagnosis doctor the clue cells are pathognomonic of bacterial vaginosis this reason you need to treat with metronidazole is what you have to basically remember 20 year old previous history of menstrual cycles occurring every 28 days lasting normally for 5 days but recently her periods are occurring only every 8 to 10 weeks with abnormal spotting in between the cycles her body mass index is 30.5 and there is a mild hirsutism what are you able to see on this transvaginal ultrasound online students can you give me the clue what is this on the ultrasound you are able to see in a hirsute patient multiple follicles very good necklace pattern absolutely so pc body pc body is a state of hyperandrogenism there is a thecal cell hyperplasia which produces estrogen all that estrogen become peripherally aromatized into androgen and uh, that increased testosterone is the one responsible for the hirsutism which you see in the case of the pc body is what you need to remember a 68 year old diabetic woman comes to the doctor four weeks history of vaginal bleeding she weighs 92 kg there is obesity without any discrete mass and endometrial biopsy result is being shown what is this histological appearance of the endometrial biopsy you like to comment as an expert gynecological oncological pathologist please give your answer doctor online students how do you like to call this histological appearances all the pg medical entrances across the country are becoming online exams with image based questions similar to that of usmle so you must be quite be ready to answer any kind of question anu thinks endometrial hyperplasia anu is considering a benign possibility rather than a malignant possibility gayu proposes a complex atypia fundamentally what you are able to see is a confluent pattern of a well differentiated adenocarcinoma with a round regular glands which are being seen in this histological slide making it adenocarcinoma of endometrium so what is the risk factor for it any high estrogen levels those patients who are obese they have a higher estrogen levels and that predisposes to the development of endometrial carcinoma is what you have to fundamentally appreciate a 66 year old there is a low grade squamous intraepithelial lesion and she has been married for the past 40 years and she is only sexually active with her only husband and she has no history of stds and her last pap smear 4 years ago was normal she never 
had an abnormal pap smear but and she is entirely asymptomatic when you have done the colposcopy how do you like to comment this lesion there are there is a hyperchromatic nucleus containing abnormal cells but what is it less than 1/3 up to 2/3 or more than 2/3 how much are they occupying the cervical epithelium is the question very good shars proposes cin2 but they are only limited to lower one third predominantly if you can see hence it makes cin1 not cin2 so that is the reason what is the recommendation of the american society for colposcopy whenever you come across this situation whenever you found cin1 on colposcopy observation with a repeat cytological exam at 6th and 12th month or the hpv testing at 12 months is the recommendation for cin1 on colposcopy and when is the repeat colposcopy basically is indicated it is only indicated if the cytological exam of the pap smear shows ac or higher atypical squamous cells are higher or hpv testing is positive with a colposcopy showing cin1 then only it is indicated to do a repeat colposcopy is what you need to basically remember when should a woman can have the regular screening recommended for her age group instead of this extra screening is the question whenever two consecutive negative pap smears are there or if there is a negative hpv test then you can be able to resume the normal screening is what i want to underscore to all of you so this is how you see cervical intraepithelial neoplasia cin1 lower one third cin2 is basal two thirds CIN3 is full thickness you find abnormal cells in the epithelium is what you have to ultimately remember now doctor a 26 year old typically presents with uh, a rash in her upper extremities the child is 3 weeks old and was delivered at 40 weeks gestation without complication but in the pregnancy there is a history of uh vdrl being positive but treparema pallidum particle agglutination test was negative and the ecg of the patient had been shown what do you see on this ecg is a very important question what do you see on this ecg doctor any comment this is the ecg of the baby aapko kya dikh rahe हर एक क्यू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स के सामने कुछ टी वेव है या कुछ मरतबे खाली क्यू आर एस है पी मिसिंग है क्यू आर एस है मगर आप देखिए यहां क्यू आर एस है टी है ये पी मिसिंग है तो वेन एवर पी इज मिसिंग बिफोर क्यू आर एस वॉट यू लाइक टू कॉल इट एस complete heart block 